think they got a new toy. That's one way to load the goats. Move them. <laughs> Jump off with the third move. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are out here working on our bank barn. We're working on this old back half of the bank barn. We've never done any projects in here yet. So this is full of some old animal stalls. It was pig stalls. So there's a slatted wood floor in there and there's about six stalls for, uh, for them to raise baby pigs in. So uh, we've never done anything with this part of the barn yet. Uh, so this is a whole new project that we're starting. So we're going to try to clean this whole area out and remove all the animal stalls. And we're going to try to open the back of this whole part of this back side of the barn up. We're going to turn this into an open shelter so that we can feed livestock in there and be able to shelter livestock in there. And uh, yeah, it's like I need another project right now. But I'll let Rebecca, I'll let Rebecca tell you why this project has gone to the top of the priority list. So of course, since the cows are gone, I missed them. So probably about a week after they were gone, I contacted someone to get three more. So we're gonna have three cows over the winter and they need a place to kind of get out of the cold weather. So besides the animal stalls, this place is just completely full of trash. I mean, it used to have a ceiling in it and that ceiling has rotted and it has fallen down and it's all over the floor. There's old boards and other junk in here as well. There's some old straw in here. There's just a bunch of stuff that needs cleaned out. So we're gonna to try to clean, we're gonna to try to remove all the animal stalls and just get this all cleaned out so that we only have the floor left. And then we're eventually gonna come back in here. We'll, we'll try to remove the floor, but first we need to get all of the stalls and everything cleaned out. So the plan is to open the back side of this up so animals can go in and out from this side. And I think what we decided to do, we're gonna go ahead and start tearing some of the metal off that way we can, when we tear the boards out, we can just throw them out here directly on the, the trailer. So we're gonna go ahead and just open this up a little bit so that we can have access on this side. time so that's not working out very well so uh we're gonna go on the inside and see if we can knock them off from in there hitting on the back side of them
All right, we got the back side of the barn opened up. That's gonna make it a lot easier for us to tear out these animal stalls and get them onto the trailer. Um, that was not an easy task. That metal is, is nailed <laughs> so many times, it's just impossible to get off there. Uh, eventually all this metal will probably come off of here. We'll probably put wood back over what stays. And we're gonna go ahead and just start tearing these animal stalls out, see if we can get this room cleaned up. So here's what it looks like when you first step in here. There's like a huge mound of straw, which I'm sure has lots of mice under it. And then you have this narrow little walkway with these stalls. And they are full of junk. There's a hog feeder. They had the waters that went up the ceiling all the way across into each stall, which I'm guessing was fed by the well. Used to be. Used to be, yeah. So, each of these stalls, I think that probably used to be a hog feeder. It's just a little piece of metal left. Here's another hog feeder. This one's probably the one that's in the best condition. Pretty big. And then there's junk fans, I guess, for ventilation. And you get back here, must have been where they stored feed and stuff. There's another gate for them to get in. And there's a whole cabinet. It looks like a cabinet. Oh, what is that? It's like an old feed trough. It's a wooden feed trough. Oh. You have to lay it down, but yeah. there's probably a place to eat. Oh, stuff. I see. Right now I see what it is. Yeah. Oh, well, that's pretty neat. I don't know why they got this sheetrock on here. Kind of no. weird. There's sheetrock on here. Yeah. Why would you put drywall in a pig stall area? Yeah. Then these floor slats. There's a hole over here. I had to get a cat out of here one time. I guess we'll see what's under there when we tear this out. All right, we got our first trailer load of, of stuff ripped out of there. Um, we got at least one more load, more, maybe two. We're gonna try our best to see if we can get this to pull out of here. We couldn't get it to back in here. We're hoping we can at least pull it out. If I have trouble doing that, um, I'll unhitch it from the truck and I'll just grab the tractor and we'll move it with the tractor instead. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go take this to the burn pile. We're gonna unload what we can in the burn pile. We're gonna try to save the galvanized metal and then the fans and some of the other stuff will just go in the dumpster. So we got the first trailer unloaded and this time I ended up parking the trailer on that side of the barn. It's just outside the barnyard fence. So all the stuff we're basically gonna throw over the fence and then and into the trailer. I think that's still gonna be easier than trying to get the trailer in and out of the barnyard, messing with all the animals and trying to, to get it parked back here was pretty difficult. So, um, so far we've just been tearing out the loose stuff. I mean, this is just a lot of junk on the ground. Uh, it was the gates. We took most of the gates off, just a lot of boards and junk laying around. That was that first trailer load. So there's still, some loose boards and stuff we need to get. After that, we're gonna go ahead and really start ripping and tearing, trying to get the stalls taken out.
she was sitting up there. Those things are heavy. That's cast iron. That was a heavy vent. These are like old floor vents. Somebody put in the ceiling. Cast iron, heavy. All right, walk in here, we'll show you where we're at. So I think we got the majority of the lumber out of here. There was lumber in the ceiling, all over the floor, got it all out. There is a total of five stalls and we have removed the gates off of all the stalls. This pig feeder here looked like it was in decent shape, but now that we look at it, it's a little bit rusted out in the bottom and it's attached to the floor. So it's not just coming right out of here. Um, what else we got here? So they had, obviously they had a ceiling in here at some point in time. They used the cheapest stuff they could find and that's what all this stuff is. It's like some old MDF and drywall and I guess they tried to use that to seal up the ceiling. And they use these old cast iron floor vents, like floor registers, and they had those in the ceiling. Man, those things are heavy. But we've got everything except for some of the ceiling and stuff is still laying on the floor in here. And then we got this other old pig feeder there we need to tear out of here. But I think we're at a fairly good shape here. I mean, I think everything looks fairly good. I think we're ready to start tearing these stalls out. So just, I know a lot of people will worry that if we start tearing these out that everything will collapse. So just to let you know, the ceiling joists come over and they sit on this board right here. Okay, so the ceiling joists are held up over there, and then the ceiling joists are held up over here. So we can tear all this out, and it shouldn't change the, you know, the structural integrity of this, and, and it shouldn't be any problem. So when we tore out these boards that were here, um, I picked those three because, so here's a ceiling joist. I'm going to see if I can show you. There's a ceiling joist there. It's sitting on this stud. So we left the stud for that ceiling joist. And then there's not another ceiling joist. I'm saying ceiling joist, I mean roof joist till here. And then it's sitting on this stud. So we didn't remove any wall studs that were holding up the roof. You know, so all those are supported. Um, so I think everything's good here for us to just keep on tearing everything out. So we're gonna get the chainsaw, I think, to make this easier. We're gonna start hacking all these off and then hopefully we can uh, pull these out. Pretty bad shape on the bottom. Set your camera. Yep. <laughs> wait for it to fall over. <laughs> end up falling on my head. Got to pry back the other drag. You got it. Yeah. You got it.
all right we got all the stalls torn out still a ton of junk on the ground like i said this is all the stuff that they use to make a ceiling now this area back here this is not original this was added on so you can tell this is the original back wall of the barn with the windows and those are the windows that you see in the livestock stalls inside and they've added this on later and uh obviously they wanted some more pins for pigs and what we'll use it for is we'll eventually open this all up and this will be a place that the animals can get in here out of the rain and a place where we can feed them hay but for today i mean it still looks pretty pretty messed up in here still a lot of trash but overall we got the majority of it all ripped out and uh we're gonna come back another day and we're gonna start tearing this floor out and uh we'll end up probably tearing out some of these blocks here so that the uh, animals can walk right in and it's hard saying what's underneath this floor so this is a slatted floor so that uh so that basically the animals pee and poop would fall through there so it's probably pretty nasty under this floor but uh right now this is looking pretty good um pretty happy with what we got done today um if i look over here to the side look out here in the barnyard you, you can see that the sun is pretty low on the horizon so we're running out of time we're gonna go ahead and get this trailer loaded up and uh see if we can go ahead and get that all put away and then i think and then i think we're done for tonight All right, I think we got all the stuff picked up and put away and, and cleaned up for tonight. Um, really happy with what we got done here in the, in the back of the barn here. Um, we worked all day on it. The sun's down, you can see the lights on back there. Rebecca's putting the livestock up for the evening. And uh, I think we spent about seven hours today cleaning out the back of this barn. So next time we'll come back, we'll, we'll start tearing the floor out of there and we'll see what's underneath the floor. That could be a huge mess. And then we'll try to maybe knock some of these block, the blocks out over here on the wall over here. Um, eventually I want to have like a, probably the opening on the back of the barn, I want it to be about 12 feet wide. Uh, big enough for, for animals to get in and out just fine, big enough for the tractor to get in and out. And uh, it'll be a place for, for steers when we raise steers or any other livestock, it'll be a place for them to be shelter, get out of the rain, get out of the weather and we're gonna put some hay feeders in there so that uh, we can feed them in there as well. And I think it'll turn out to be a great place. It'll be more of a, it'll be more of an open lean-to shed on the back of here. And we're gonna eventually take all this metal off of here. So that galvanized metal is gonna go and we're gonna cover that back up with wood. And we'll probably won't have these sliding doors on the ends anymore. We'll probably just cover that up as well. But as you can tell, it's, it is getting late and I think we're gonna call tonight and I probably better help Rebecca put the animals up. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Throw it down here with this stuff.